Well, shit. Today's the day, folks. Purification. Lock your door tonight. You've got to be at hell. Jack. We just killed somebody. We just murdered somebody. It was manslaughter at worst. <laughs> Did you check his pulse? Uh, I... I think so. I don't know, he seemed really dead. This isn't a big deal. Calm the fuck down. Uh... Oliver? Owen? Owen. Somebody is dead and this isn't a big fucking deal to you? My fucking immortal soul is at stake here. You're religious? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> we just killed someone. We're going to jail and hell. Yeah, that's not why I'm going to hell. In case you forgot, purification's tonight. And the cops are usually pretty chill this time of year about- Murder? Manslaughter. You bide our time till eight, then it's not our problem. Easy peasy. The cops will come get the body, and you can go fucking talk to a priest or whatever it is you do. You do realize that if somebody else finds the body before tonight, the police will have to bring it in for an investigation, and then we'll go to jail. Uh, motherfucker. You think anyone will notice if we just leave him like that? Shit. How far away did you say you lived again? We are not putting a dead body in my apartment. Uh, my roommates are home, so it's here at the dumpster, kiddo. Not get your sweaty hands all over my tail lights. There's literally vomit on the back tire. Yeah, my vomit. Keep your grubby hands off. This is a thousand years old anyways. Why does it matter? That makes it vintage. There's a lot of complaining coming from someone who asked to meet with me. To work on our project, which I've done most of the work on, by the way, and we're about to put a dead body in my apartment. So I think we're even. There are fluids in my car now. Great, I, I just had it cleaned. There were fluids in your car before? What? Screw you. You wish you knew what fluids were in my... Please tell me you live on the ground floor. Oh. 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 God, did you see yourself? No. That's awful. That wasn't me. It's probably the dead body we're lugging around because you fucking forgot what it is we're doing. 
catch the plague of this shit. So thanks for earlier. For like opening your water? No, for helping me with, uh, with that. Oh, that. Yeah, we couldn't just leave him. For helping me. When he grabbed me? Oh yeah. You did most of the work on the project. It's the least I could do. Watch a little manslaughter between classmates. I mean, I guess I could do the rest of our PowerPoint too. They go home for purification every year. Gotta take precautions in here. Since I'm alone. Both purifiers then? Look, all of... Owen, it, it was an accident. Owen, seriously? Are you ignoring my text? Why is the door locked? It's never locked. Let me in. Uh, wait, I thought you were going home. I was, but now I'm not. Let me in. Uh, I I don't think that's the best idea. Listen, you see, I... what is your deal? It's purification day. I can't just stay out here. It's not safe. Let me in. Uh, I can't let you in for reasons. Reasons? Reasons, huh? Aren't you a little too freaked out by the pandemic to even go to the grocery store? Oh, uh, yeah, but we're in the same distancing pod and we check each other's temperatures. Check each other's temperatures? But what is that on the couch? Me? Not you, the lump behind you. Pillows and stuff, blankets. They help me study. They help you study? Wait, is that my great grandmother's blanket? We're about to have a threesome. Threesome? Yes, a threesome. That is correct. Yep, you caught us. So if you could just leave so we could get back to it. To your threesome. On our couch. In the living room? Yep. Well, you know what they say, people deal with stress differently, and I cope with threesomes, apparently. Do not have sex on my great grandmother's blanket. A threesome?
Really? Well, I had to say something. You sure you don't have like a knife or something? Murder isn't allowed on campus. We're close to campus. The door's barricaded. We'll be fine. Until we leave to dump the body. But it was an accident. It's not like it killed him maliciously or anything. Most of the purifiers go home. What's the worst they can do anyway? My roommate could break in and kill us for having sex on his grandma's blanket? Ready?